what's up everybody welcome to my channel and today's in this video i'm going to show you how to fix stuttering in game on your any low end or a high end pc with your windows 10 or 11 whatever operating system you are using it will work with your any kind of pc or game so make sure to watch my this whole video and if this is your first time here so please subscribe drop a like on this video and without wasting any time let's go straight into over this video so guys in the first step you have to download msi afterburner on your pc because we are going to use a software which comes with the msi afterburner for fixing over stuttering issue in any game so you have to open up the link from description for downloading this software and that will take you onto this website once you open the link you have to go into the software section of my this website and there you will find out how to fix stutters in games windows 10 11 improve pc performance you can also search this title into the search bar for finding out this article open up this article scroll down click on this download button it will take you onto the official website of the msi click on this download button and download the msi afterburner on your pc Simply install it, it's really simple. Just simply double tap on the exit file and you can easily install the MSI Afterburner on your PC. So once you install it, you have to search on your PC MSI Afterburner and you will get this kind of the interface. You have to not change any settings into the MSI Afterburner, but you need to now go for your Windows search again and search for Riva Static Server. So once you open up Riva Static Server, it will open up in your system tray. Click here and here is the interface of the Riva Static Tuner. Now the settings which you need to follow that is guys important so make sure to follow my whole settings So in the first step guys you have to add here the game in which you are getting the status So for example I have already added my Fortnite into this list But if you want to add here Warzone, CSGO or the Valorant so you need to simply go for this add button Go for the directory where you install your that specific game like I want to add here my Valorant So I will go into the live shooter game binary win64 and here i can find my valorant shipping file so click here click on the open button and here it will add valorant into this list so once you add here your that specific game which you want to fix this first now you need to go for the next step and that step is guys you have to go for this frame rate limit and you have to adjust here the best number you can do so how you can adjust or choose the best number for the software that is guys the number of fps or the frames you can easily achieve into the that specific game for fixing this status for example i'm getting 70 or 80 fps in valorant so i have to adjust it onto that number where i can easily get that frame so for example if i can get 60 frame easily in the valorant so i need to adjust the frame rate limit onto the 60 fps therefore my cpu usage can also be reduced and help me to getting the stable fps and stable gameplay and smooth gameplay in valorant now you can do the same settings with your all the games like add here 60 press enter and this will adjust your this fps into that specific game and if you want to reset it back so simply type here zero and press enter and now there is no any kind of fps limit on your that game this is a simple method I'm using from a long time and I'm getting no any kind of status anymore with my Windows 11 or Windows 10 on my any low end or high end PC. So I hope so this video really help you to fixing this starting issue in games. So please make sure to subscribe, drop a like on this video and till the next video peace out.